In this unit, we will learn some words related to geography. We will focus on words relating to the globe and the seasons. Geography means the study of the earth and represents an extremely broad area of study. The sub-areas of geography involve climatology, geology, oceanography, seismology, meteorology, and many other disciplines. Cartography is the area of study that involves study and preparation of maps. A major element in cartography is the marking of the directions. A magnetic compass is the most common device for finding directions, with the magnetic needle pointing towards north. The other principal directions on the compass rows are south, east and west. Then we have the other four directions, northeast, northwest, southeast and southwest. The most common representation of the Earth's geography is on a globe, a spherical model of the Earth. The North Pole and the South Pole define the axis of rotation of the Earth. Between the poles is the great circle that defines the equator. The equator divides the globe into the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Any point on the Earth can be defined by its latitude and longitude. Each latitude or parallel defines a circle parallel to the equator. The equator defines the zero degree latitude. The north pole is at latitude 90 degrees north. The south pole is at latitude 90 degrees south. The longitudes or meridians are lines connecting the two poles. The meridian passing through Greenwich in Great Britain is defined as the zero degree meridian or the prime meridian. The other meridians are either east of the prime meridian or to the west. On the opposite side of the prime meridian lies the meridian defining the international date line. The prime meridian together with the international date line divide the globe into two hemispheres, the western hemisphere and the eastern hemisphere. The latitude at 23.5 degrees north is known as the Tropic of Cancer. The latitude at 23.5 degrees south is known as the Tropic of Capricorn. The latitude at 66.5 degrees north is known as the Arctic Circle. The latitude at, at the latitude at 66.5 degrees south is known as the Antarctic Circle. We have the June solstice around June 21st when the sun is at maximum declination in the Northern Hemisphere. This represents summer in the Northern Hemisphere and winter in the Southern Hemisphere. As the days go by, the declination of the sun decreases. We have the September equinox around September 23rd when the sun is overhead at the equator and the day and night are equally long. This represents autumn in the Northern Hemisphere and spring in the Southern Hemisphere. As the days go by, the declination of the sun decreases and the sun moves to the Southern Hemisphere. We have the December solstice around December 22nd when the sun is at maximum declination in the Northern Hemisphere. This represents winter in the Northern Hemisphere and the summer in the Southern Hemisphere. As the days go by, the declination of the sun decreases and the sun moves up towards the equator. We have the March equinox around March 20th when the sun is overhead at the equator and the day and night are equally long. This represents spring in the Northern Hemisphere and autumn in the Southern Hemisphere. As the days go by, the declination of the sun decreases and the sun moves up towards the Tropic of Cancer until we reach the June solstice. Notice the cyclic sequence of the four seasons, summer, autumn, winter and spring. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. For more details, visit our website leximagic.com.